Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Alchemical Mindset. I am Renz, and today we are going to discuss why the world again is coming to an end again, and the uh, why we love so much apocalyptic literature, and why we get caught up so much in the world is ending, and really it's because most of us we don't like our lives. So that's why apocalyptic literature, that's why these world ending um, tropes keep coming up and people just jump into them left and right. But before I begin, I wanna thank everybody who subscribes to the channel. I appreciate you, you are uh, amazing. Thank you very, very much for subscribing to this YouTube channel where we talk about the 360 degrees of life, the alchemical mindset of it, your spirituality, and everything under the sun. Um, I greatly appreciate everyone who supports the channel through Patreon, those who shop at Uncle Ren's Popcorn. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I am completely in gratitude towards you. Now, the world was supposed to come to an end in the year 2012, mainly because of the ending of a cycle of the Mayan calendar. The ending of the 13 Batum um, identified the world coming to the end in 2012. Also, you had... Um, the writings of Merlin, the world is ending in 2012. Uh, Nostradamus, the world's coming to an end in 2012. You had uh, other people who had wrote the I Ching, the world's coming to an end in 2012. We had all of these things, these world ending writing prophecies of it coming to an end in 2012 and it's going to be cataclysmic and all this, that, and the third. Well, 2012 came and it went. And there was no upheaval of Teutonic plates and the world didn't go and get engulfed into wars and um, uh, didn't go into a whole Mad Max Fury Road kind of situation. No, we had our movies, we had our moments and we continued on. We had a similar thing in 2000 where the world was supposed to come to an end because there was going to be this massive computer issue that was going to create you know, nuclear weapons going off and all these kinds of things because the computer systems weren't built to go into 2000. So that was supposed to come to an end. But then it was like, oh, we forgot the year zero. So it's actually 2001. And so many things. So now we're dealing with this whole new cataclysmic end time going on, which is saying that because either one, you go by this guy's mathematics that he calculated number of days, leap years based on the Gregorian calendar, this, that, and the third, the world is coming to an end. Or, many are looking at, well, the Ethiopian calendar never adjusted to the Roman calendars, and this, that, and the third, and it's actually 2012 now. Both are saying it's 2012 now, and the world is coming to an end. <sighs> Why? Why do we fall for these things? First, let's understand this. None of those things are saying that the world is coming to an end. The Mayan calendar, the ending of the Baktuns, indicated that we were coming to an end of an age, not the end of a world, of the world, of the universe, that we were just moving to a new world, a new manifestation of thought, of mind, a, a golden era, if you will, that we were changing our mindset, that we was going out of one age of Aquarius or age, well, age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius, so that we were just making a shift in the consciousness of the world. Slight interruption, you know, customers and all. So, as I was saying, it's the change of a mindset, uh, but not just an individual, but a cultural, a national, a worldwide mindset, a shift, if you will, in the consciousness of the world, of humankind. And that's what we're experiencing. Unfortunately, many people fall prey to apocalyptic literature, ideas, calculations, because as I've said in previous videos, most people are living in a hell loop. Most people are living in a situation where they really aren't happy with how the world is treating them. But the problem is that they don't realize is that it's not so much how the world is treating them, but how they are relating to the world. You see, after December 21st of 2020, which is they're saying is actually 2012, 
and the world is supposed to end, but nothing's going to happen as far as physically something's going to happen because they're saying, look at all the things that are happening in 2020. These are the things that were supposed to happen in 2012. The pandemic, the droughts in Kenya, I believe, the forest fires in California, all these things that happen in nature automatically, all these things that's happened in the um, civilization of man consistently because all these things are on a loop these things continue to happen history continues to repeat itself governments continue to be um, whether good or bad uh, wars continue to happen there's never been a time where there was no war going on on the planet there's always natural disasters these things consistently happen there's always a a superior group and a oppressed group these things always happen but how we relate to these things, how we identify with these things, what side of the fence we're on, is what makes the huge difference. Therefore, the question is, what side of this do you find yourself on? Uh, what side of the perspective are you finding yourself on? And are you taking advantage of the situation? So let's now discuss that a bit. You see, in, throughout history, Every oppressed group has always fallen prey to apocalyptic literature. If you are the oppressed group in the book of Daniel, then of course you follow the apocalyptic literature of the book of Daniel and, and Ezra and those sorts of things. If you are um, feeling the oppression, then you follow that the government is weighing heavily on you and that life on this planet has not been friendly to you, then of course you, you look at books like Revelation, you look at the end of the, the last surahs of the Quran, and you fall prey to this apocalyptic literature because you are wanting an out, you're wanting a, a win, you're looking for uh, something beyond what you believe you can accomplish to win. Okay, so you guys saw the interruption. But what I want you to understand is that in order for you to win, you have to change your perspective on how things work, how you see yourself. You have to change your vibration to match the vibrational pattern of what success looks like. And that's what all of these end time things is really telling you. It's time for you to transform yourself into a new greatness. It's time for you to transform your mindset into thinking in a way that makes opportunity come to you that makes the flow of the world's abundance come to you and when you change that flow when you change that that's when life becomes grand for you and when life becomes grand for you that's when all things become grand for you so i want you guys to work on that i want you to do that stay tuned to the channel things are going to be great we're going to move forward we're learning these things so y'all have a great day remember you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good vibration good journey